And we're live, guys. Now, I want to do a live quickie. And the reason why I thought of doing a live quickie is because I just did a little quick interview with Sarah Carnivore Yogi on my Facebook horse page, which is a membership page. And it's through Facebook. So if you guys want to know, you sign up through my website. And it, it explains the details there where I cover low carb, high fat, keto, omnivore, and carnivore. Now, Let's get into the subject as I wait for you guys to come in. Okay, we got our number one person here. Don't forget to say hello as you guys are coming into the live stream here on the YouTube. Now, um, I talk to Sarah Carnivore Yogi almost every day. And so I know what goes behind her as, of course, many of my other clients And when you talk to real people, like right now, I just did a, a, a live Q&A with many consultations on my course page and people were asking me questions. Hey, everybody coming in from London. And people were asking me questions on my course page. And I said, I can't like, I need to go with you. Let's talk live. So I went live with a few people and it was a game changer. So that's the same thing with Sarah. And I want to go into the reasons why. What's up, everybody? So nice to see you guys again. It's been a while since I've gone live. Okay. So, uh, so Sarah is considering adding rice. Oops. To her carnivore diet. Not even just like vegetables, bruh. We're going straight to the starch. Why? Right? She did a video about this. What's up, Emma? She did a video about this. And, you know, it's kind of hard to explain to the people. Then you have people attacking you. So I can explain it, okay? Because I know I know her very well. Um, thank you, Jackie. The problem with going on these diets is a lot of people immediately have electrolyte issues. And so a lot of you guys have electrolyte issues even before doing this, these dang diets, keto or carnivore. And when you drop out the carbs, you lose the ability to hold on to minerals because carbohydrates, right? Those starches make your cells swell up with water and hold minerals in. Now, in nature, you wouldn't need carbs to hold your minerals in because you'd get enough of them in nature, right? So, uh, what's up, Lane? Uh, anyway, so you would get enough of your electrolytes in nature and you're good. But our soils have been disgustingly depleted. No one talks about it, you know. <laughs> We don't talk about health anymore. We just talk about stupid measures to keep us stuck in our in our homes. Let's not talk about health. I mean, that doesn't matter, right? Your body can't fight off. Yes, it can fight off, off a lot of stuff. Now, um, no, potatoes are nightshades, so squash. So, um, a lot of people, so the reason why she's having an electrolyte imbalance, she thinks, and she's been, we've been talking about first, she wasn't consuming enough electrolytes. Then she started to consume electrolytes and it wasn't the consumption of the electrolytes. It was more like a liver cleanse that she was doing that. And I'll let her describe the actual liver cleanse. Cause I ain't going to do it on this channel. But it was the, what we believe it was the liver cleanse that set off this domino effect of her not being able to hold on to her electrolytes, right? And um, we've had the strangest weather. It's been over 100 degrees for five months. And now it's cooling up and now it's heating up again. Girl can't get a break. So... Her, uh, so we think that her electrolytes got really out of whack from that. And when your electrolytes go cray cray, then you do anything to fix it. And then it's the same thing with people testing their blood sugar. They'll like test their blood sugar and all of a sudden the blood sugar just goes higher. And I'm like, stress is real, y'all. If you 
if you emotionally and mentally start picking at certain things, whatever you're picking at gets worse. So for her, her electrolytes started to become even more out of whack. The more she fidgeted with it, the more she went crazy on it, the more she tried to do this experiment and that experiment and all these freaking experiments. And, and I was like, all right, girl, she's like, should I try? Cause I've been explaining to people who can't do the ketogenic diet or carnivore due to, like I said, an electrolyte imbalance or hypoglycemia or thyroid. I'm like, okay, you can try to, some people react. Not everybody can do white rice. They will react. You're going to get a better response with your body uh, filling up, the cells filling up with water and holding on to minerals from rice than you would squash, right? Because there's just more starch, just, just more carbohydrate. So this is Sarah's short-term solution to see if she can rebalance her electrolytes. And um, also, um, if you have leaky gut, right? This is, that's, this is a problem. You have a leaky gut. A lot of you guys do a low carb diet. You're trying to, or doing car, or sorry, low carb as in keto or, or carnivore. And then you're consuming all this meat and you're thinking, I'm getting all my sodium and my potassium. No, you're not. You're not. And then you, and people aren't considering the fact that they might have leaky gut and they're just hemorrhaging minerals. And now their cells won't hold on to water. It's this sort of domino effect of a cluster frack. And then you'll watch everybody else saying like, oh, no, it's so simple. Or now they've got these god awful electrolyte products. Please stop taking them like these. Uh, like when you do a it's the same thing with multivitamins, like, oh, we're going to have magnesium, potassium, calcium and sodium all in one drink or supplement. Go go right now, whatever you bought, put it in the trash can right now. OK, these things can be very, very rough, rough on your kidneys. And if you're very sensitive to pot potassium. So yeah, somebody, somebody had some smart ass, ass response to a post that I did on my Facebook page, which is Stephanie, the business person as in the body business. And someone said, oh uh, yeah, because potassium can kill you. And I was like, how? Sometimes people's commentary, like, I don't get it. Yes, potassium will stop your heart, you dumb dumb. What's wrong with people? People don't understand, yo, you take a little bit too much potassium, especially if you're not balanced with sodium and it'll stop your heart. Do not mess with this stuff, you guys. <laughs> um, so uh, this is the reason why Sarah is considering, now somebody's talking about, what about mushrooms? So first of all, we gotta consider for, for minerals. First of all, a lot of you guys have a candida overgrowth. You do not do well with for fungus, okay? A lot of you. So that's not a go-to. No, I said softly. <laughs> then the other issue is that uh, if you have leaky gut and then mushrooms are making candida, then those onulins and the, the gut wall integrity opens up and it exacerbates the problem. So that doesn't work. And healing the gut walls, it takes time and it takes a different type, different types of methodol methodologies on how to do it. One way is to add a starch back. It's a simple, short-term solution. Rice is not because it's a grain. It's not a good long-term solution, but if you're trying to rebalance your electrolytes while trying to deal with the gut at the same time, when it, the rice has been bleached, you've been bleaching out the arsenic and a lot of the phytic acid out of the hole. I mean, out of the, out of the meat and the, the uh, arsenic out of the hole. Um... Thank you, Alexis. <laughs> so I'm gonna take you guys' questions really quick. I just wrote that title, like why is she considering going off of carnivore? Is she still carnivore? Yes, she is. I'm so tired of these dogmatic people, like so triggered, oh my God, she's not carnivore anymore. Yes, she is. She's doing a short-term, uh, she's thinking, she hasn't even done it yet. She's thinking of doing a short-term solution to correct her electrolyte problem and then get everything rebalanced again and then taper off the rice and go back to the reality that we love to do, which is no starch, no sugars, and do a carnivore-ish in the context of keeping in like an avocado for your potassium. So yes, yeah, Sarah is considering going off of carnivore temporarily to deal with her electrolyte imbalance and 
starches make you hold on to water. And in the short term, sometimes going off of these diets could be a good solution for the short term until you correct an issue. Now, I don't like people going off of diets to eat a bunch of carbs for three days and then drop their carbs and do this carb cycling. That's dangerous. The body can't adapt. It doesn't know what it's doing. People's blood sugar becomes highly dysregulated. So uh, there's even a method that I have to actually reintroduce rice back. You can't eat a lot. You have to eat it at a certain time and you have to mix it with certain foods, especially if you're having any type of digestive issues with it. And um, you might want to rotate it with some other type of root vegetables. Sweet potatoes, unfortunately, are a good idea, but they are high oxalate uh, types of plants. And so I did so many oxalates or oxalates for so long that uh, my body does not like them anymore. So I was doing spinach and parsley and stevia. You guys know in my older videos, I was making like stevia sweets. And then I developed uh, kidney crystals from the oxalates. And now if I even, my body's like, if an oxal oxalate crystal touches my kidneys, it goes, peel the banana, <laughs> right? It does not like it. So first of all, I don't do sweet potato, but I'm saying if somebody is having blood sugar dysregulation, they want to do low carb, high fat, and they did a bunch of smoothies as a vegan, and then they like try to reintroduce a starch back like sweet potato because it has a lot of fiber. It may not be the starch. And for those who've got no problem with the oxalate overload, then it's no problem to do sweet potato for the short term, especially if you don't have a histamine reaction to it. Now, sweet potatoes are low nightshades, but they're still a nightshade for those who've got a thyroid problem. So yes, we have to look at every little detail before make, we make our decision and a lot of N equals one experimentation. I'm going to take your guys' questions and then I think I'm going to bounce with it and I'm going to uh, look at your comments. So let's see what we got going on here, guys. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start from the beginning. And if you guys wanna start posing questions, we got Gregory in the house and Jimmy, and Angela, a lot of people saying hello. Keto like a lady, <laughs> uh, sing it, la. And then uh, we've got someone saying hello to Thunder. By the way, before I answer you guys' questions, some woman was absolutely biatching in my comment section about talking about my horse's poop. What they didn't understand is my horse has a good digestive tract. That's why he has solid poops because I won't allow the, the, the butte, the, the aspirin like stuff and the antibiotics, which they give horses like Tic Tacs, which has everything to do with the subject. I, I always talk about, and somebody complained that I brought up my horse and I did a video at my ranch. Like, People find something to complain about all the time. So we got Jackie and Ling and Emma, and now we're going to get down to the questions. Um, so uh, let me say, I love this related to minerals. Many folks have issues keeping minerals due to stress. For one thing, stress and also having leaky gut. When you have leaky gut, your bodies don't hold on to minerals very well. If you're eating nuts, nuts will demineralize your body, especially iron. So we got to be careful to not do nuts that have phytic acid and these plants hide phytic acid can rob your body of minerals. And if you guys have leaky gut and mineral deficiency and the soil's depleted, then you do a low carb diet. And we're talking the heart palps, the headaches, the all types of chronic dehydration, the kidney problems, dark circles under the eyes from doing low carb diets, including carnivore and keto. Um, I noticed my gut stool are super slippery and clean after potatoes no clue why save saves on paper so thomas i would just have to eat no more uh if you were eating high fat that could have been fat in your stool and now you're not now you're eating, or now you're eating some potato and now you're not having a gallbladder issue of fat i don't know i need more details okay so emma says i have a ibs c and me and my plant matter really don't get along Exactly. That's why a lot of people do carnivore. So you've got to like micro, like I did a video, video about microdosing, which is to microdose small amounts of plants back in because people tend to eat a lot of red meat on carnivore and they have an iron overload that might be not enough copper and that might be down regulating their diamine oxidase, keep the histamine down. So then when they try to eat plants again, it's just so bad uh, and they start to develop mast cell activation. 
So that's why we want to keep a little plants in when you're doing a carnivore or if you're keto omnivore, you're fine because you're already eating plants, cruciferous type. But you take tiny amounts and get your body to start recognizing this histamine plant and learning how to 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 uh, not only use the a little bit of the prebiotic fiber, but also learning how to have uh, ha- have the body deal with the histamines uh, that that come with those foods. Because when you stop, do, like I used to drink milk, and then I stopped for six months. This is when I was younger. Because you know I'm 53 now. And then I stopped for oh, like six months and I tried to eat, drink milk again. Whatever my body was doing to try to deal with the lactose, it couldn't anymore. So it's the same thing with microdosing back up to food that you couldn't eat. Excuse me, it can start eating again. By the way, you guys have an Instagram where I always have free content, which is Stephanie Ketogenics. Don't forget to, to go there. I'm on Keto Savage's new interview, so go to his channel. Sarah and Keto Savage's, they're my fam. Those are the to Robert from uh, Keto Savage and Sarah Carnivore Yogi. Those are the people I feel like we're all, we're most aligned. We're all very similar on how we do the dang thing. Uh, potassium citrate is fine for those who don't have a histamine reaction to it. Some people have a histamine reaction to citrate. And one woman was doing so much, I was like, girl, you're going to stop your heart. Like, go down on that citrate. Be very careful. She's doing like 800 milligrams and you can't. Like, you know, max, you can do like 500 to six. But really, people do about 400, like two in the morning and two in the afternoon of citrate if they don't have a histamine reaction to the citrate part of that type of potassium. Thanks, Steph. You're awesome. I love, let's read this here. Um, so, thanks, Steph. You're awesome. I love how you give us straight talk in a way we can understand. It's evident how much you care. I do care, you guys, even though people think I sound sanctimonious, but if you're not tough on people, you will never leave a mass lasting memory. You're forgettable because you're, you know, you're playing to your audience for likes and views. And you guys know that I don't do that. People are like, why don't you have more? You're just hitting a hundred thousand subscribers now. And I'm like, cause I can't lie. And I can't like, it just makes me disgusted because I've been lied to by doctors and it destroyed my health. I've been lied lied to by doctors who didn't do enough work, who said, take this pill and walk out the door and it destroys you. So um, meat meat is zinc dominant and fish and copper dominant. Not all meat, Powell, Powell is zinc dominant and you, you can't be zinc dominant without copper, which is why y'all need some liver because it's in the right ratios, right? And it's copper that helps to have, uh, if I said zinc before I made a, an error, I meant copper for diamine oxidase. That's uh, cream de tartare is just poisonous. So no, for your potassium, no, it's not safe for the kidney, especially in large amounts. Can drinking coconut water cause skin rashes? Yes, because it's sugar. So you probably have candida. Don't drink don't coconut water, honey. <laughs> Chow. Uh, is there a limit to cream to tartar? Yeah, there's a limit of 0%. <laughs> I'm so bad. Assuming a thousand milligrams potassium citrate is a no-go. Yeah, that's really dangerous. I wouldn't do that. No. And I know some people do and they feel fine at first, but then after a while they start, the, the higher the potassium citrate goes, all of a sudden you start to develop all of those benign heart palps and all the headaches. It's really weird. It has to balance with your sodium. Uh, so Emma says, you're amazing. Wait, let's see. I always like a compliment, you know. <laughs> Feels good. Thank you, Emma. She says, you're amazing, Stephanie. There's so much uh, dodgy info out there. Your videos have been my life have been my lifeline oh lifeline on my keto journey thank you emma i'm trying each day i learn something new i'm learning more about mast cell activation i'm gonna i'm gonna do a whole presentation on it uh on this channel because there's so much i've learned in regards to mast cell activation and um uh a lot of women have these types of disorders like mast cell activation thyroid all these things are really connected Especially women with um, Hashimoto's tend to have mast cell activation. Let's 
see. Hi. Make my eyes water. I weighed 300 pounds, lost 70 on keto. Hopefully, you did the right way. Switch to carnivore and stop losing and have gained 20 pounds. Any suggestions? Yeah, um, it's me, BJ. BJ, look, a lot of people do that. I have got a lot of videos, videos explaining that people forget about the science of keto and you know, what they do is they lose a lot of muscle. They lose the hormones on these diets. They do keto the wrong way. And they're looking at the weight on the scale. They don't realize how much muscle that they've lost. And then all of a sudden they started to have issues with their thyroid. And if the thyroid of T3 thyroid hormone goes low, especially when you push yourself over to carnivore because you're eating all this meat and your blood sugar is destabilized. You don't eat enough fat in your, your uh, electrolytes have tanked people start to notice that they have a rebound and that they start gaining weight on, on, um, on, on freaking carnivore. And I'm like, when did carnivore become a, become a weight loss? I'd always be, I would become moved by that. So I hope that helps. It's not a straight answer, but I need more details. Let's see here. Um, how long can you keep a bottle of organ pills? I thought I lost my, my ancestral organs, but I found it. Uh, if you lost them, I don't know, huh? They say that they, the company says that you can have them for like six months, but people who've got mast cell activation or DAO deficiency um, when they don't have their ancestral supplements in a refrigerator, they tend to um, react to them because it's protein collecting bacteria. And I do have a, uh, I always forget to say I have a code uh, for a discount through their website. So it's Steph Keto, capital A S and capital K for the ancestral supplements. Cause I barely push them anymore. So, but then I haven't done lives in a long time. I used to always push them in my life. What is the balance of a zip fizz? Really high potassium, 200 potassium mm -hmm. citrate enough. Uh, 200 grams of potassium citrate is unfortunately probably not enough, but you try to get it also through meat. If you can do avocado, you can get a really good amount there. Uh, sometimes doing spinach for the very short term to balance out your electrolytes, but it's high in oxalates. I got to uh, remind you guys or meat broth or um, I think that, yeah, or meat broth. Uh, let's see here. Back in uh, celiac days, I noticed that Hashimoto's graves disease are often secondary to celiac. Exactly. I mean, they all go together and unfortunately women get hit harder, get, get hit hard. Hardest? I can't speak English. Can't sounds good. Maybe speaking Swedish, I'll do better. Uh, yeah. Can't be better for me. Okay. Uh, let's see. I have uh, I have hypothyroidism. So which diet is best for weight loss? Girlfriend, destiny. No. The question should be, what's the best diet for that hypothyroidism? Because if your if your body's not in point, the weight loss ain't ever going to happen. You got muscle loss, and you know now uh, hormone loss. I think the best diets are low carb diets. So that's either uh, keto omnivore or uh, avivore or quasi carnivore. That's what I think the best is. Uh, but some people come with uh, hypothyroidism hypoglycemia chronic and they can't get their stress down and then they'd have to do low carb high fat which is still starch dependent but low starch which i cover all those diets now because people just can't adhere just to keto do you have any suggestions on how to prevent hair loss on in males wait, wait, wait that's a good question i love when i get the men in the house but wait where's the question <laughs> i gotta find it again here it is uh Russian? Unisov, Russian Unisov. Okay, yeah. Um, a lot of people think that people develop men develop calcium deposits within the scalp, which ruins their hair follicles. It can be your diet, standard American diet. Sugar, sugar will kill the hair follicles. Um, any type of estrogen dominance will raise men's dihydrotestosterone, which will also kill the follicles. So we got to be really, really careful for plastic bottles, pesticides on foods, hormone injected milk, corn fed animals. All of these things will create an estrogenic effect. Xenoestrogens from plastic 
products and chemicals and soy and all this stuff can make you bald and stress your immune system tanking will make you bald you know they say that 60 percent of males bald more today than ever before so we have to look at all of the toxins stress in our lives and blood sugar dysregulation to preserve those hair follicles how many eggs would you say is enough for me and well it depends gabrielle eggs are a high histamine food some people cannot tolerate the whites whatsoever but with yolks if you don't have a histamine like six yolks a day is good how much potassium should he get in a day? Um, well, the 4,700, I don't know who came up with that number, but it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I'd probably say around 800 to 1,000 milligrams a day coming from food. Um, you and Sarah have forced other influencers to cut out the magic talk about the hard topics. <laughs> I wish Sarah could see this. Wait, 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 wait. let me highlight that. You and Sarah have forced other influencers to, or, or to use, at least address the subjects to cut out the magic and talk with the, to cut out the magic and talk about the hard topics like hormones. Well done. Thank you. Yes. Come on, guys. Like nobody has it that easy. You know, y'all know that I went through the whole melasma thing and it's almost gone. I still got a little bit left on the forehead on this side and I had it really bad on my face and. I've come to the conclusion that my electrolyte imbalance was connected to my hormones because one other person I did a consultation with, she's like, same thing happened to me. And when I start to see more than myself, it happened to other people or things happening to you guys, to each other, then I'm like, okay, if it's more than one, we need to take a bigger look at what's going on with people. Like the stupid intermittent fasting. I cannot stand people like, oh my God, it did so fabulous for me. And then I'll meet or see some of these people, I'll see their Facebooks and they look so unhealthy. It's like people don't even know what healthy looks like anymore because we're all jacked up. Okay, hi, Steph. Just want to say thank you to, oh, I already read that. Oh, no, no, did I? No, I didn't. This to, to you and Sarah for telling me I was eating too much protein now under 100 grams. Yeah, I should really be towards, oh, Jimmy, you're a dude. Yeah, like, like you know, it depends on how, like everything. Now, like around for men, it's like around 85 is good, depending on how big you are. Weight started back dropping, 527 now, 411, and still good. Yes, Jimmy, that's awesome. Make sure you get enough fat because I don't want you to damage your immune system. Lash, lash, fish, that? Lash, are you Danish? Fade, fish, that? I'm trying to get that right. Lash, FJ, fish, that? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm also struggling lately, lately with keeping ketones below uh, three a point. No. Oh, you want them to be between a 1.8 and a 3.0. Gotcha. You mean 3.0. I'm trying to stick to around 60 grams of protein a day and at least 200 grams of fat. I'm 183 centimeters. Oh, honey, you too tall. Are you underweight? Wait, you're 183 and you weigh 65 kilograms? Last, nay, igge, 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 nay, skate to your today. You're too old, I must have at the mirror. There must be like 45 shilo. That's what I think. Something's going on, Lars. You shouldn't be eating 660 kilograms. I mean, you're 183 centimeters. You're too tall, bruh. Get your protein up, 185 to, uh, sorry, 85 to 90, and get your fats up to closer to 300. Lash. They are true. True. What's up, Don? Love you too, Don. Uh, Janae has melasma. Let's see what she says. Janae has melasma. Bad. I need to know what you what to do. Um, I'm still learning about my melasma. As you guys know, if you saw my previous videos, it was so bad. I was like, you know, first of all, when it's on the skin, I'm like, I don't care. I don't want to be vain. I just ignored it. And then people started commenting and commenting and commenting. And I was like, all right, let's address this and let's get it off. I've done a few videos on the melasma, but I still haven't hundred percent figured out exactly what triggered it because i've done four hormonal reproductive panel panels and my doctors are like my obg way 
my OBGYN is like, your hormones are really good for 53. So I think it's an electrolyte imbalance. Okay, I am underweight from following uh, paleo medicina. Unfortunately, they had me on 200 grams of lean, oh, 70 grams of fat. This paleo medicine has got to stop. Look at this, y'all. Look at it. Look at Lars. Uh, so, do musta snaga, snaga me it. Snaga, 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 snaga. Snag ya, snag ya, snag ya. I think that's in Danish. I don't think. I think you're Danish or you're Norwegian. I'm not sure. Um. Let me see, I weighed 50 kilograms, 176 when I was in Mexico. Ooh, should I have drank that water? Oh, you got sick, that's why. Alexander Mazzola, I just ate, I just can't gain weight. My metabolism is so fast. I mean, you might have uh, hyperthyroid, you might be hyperthyroid, Alexander. You know what, you guys, I'm gonna do a live Q and A where anyone can join in and ask questions because I'm using Stream Yards. I can post the link and anyone can come and do a little mini consultation with Steph, and then we can hit it. Yeah, and then Lang wrote down that she uh, her melasma started when she went keto, the wrong keto, and that's the problem. It's not keto, it's the wrong version of it. So obviously when I've corrected my electrolytes, my skin is not re, um, hyperpigmenting anymore. So we all got to be careful. Okay, you guys, I'm about to go. So I'm, I'm 54, you look healthy and good to be here. Stephanie, yeah, awesome, William. You're 54, I'm 53. I got some energy, 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 energy. Okay. Uh, went from 70 kilograms to 57 in a few months, slowly gaining. Went from 70 kilos to 57. Ooh, child. Lash. That doesn't about the ege, ege got. A fast metabolism might mean that you're aging faster than normal. No, rock and roll. It's not, no, people don't lose like that. When you underweight, something's wrong with the hormones. That's not natural. Still having sugar cravings, but particularly particularly at the night because there's a little lot. Uh, eat more fat and eat fat every couple of hours. But the, I don't have time. Okay, I'm trying to get off this stream. Uh, I'm anorexic. Wait, I'm anorexia, and I keep and keto save my. Okay, you saved you. Good birthday, thanks, Stephanie. Okay, thank you. I guess I'm not really. I don't understand the question. Or comment, but that's okay. I got really bad tinnitus after eating lots of liver last year. What kind of liver was it? Was it grass fed? That's really weird, Thomas. I've never heard that in my entire life. So let's let, was it grass fed? Question mark. Because corn fed may not have been the right thing, but I'm not sure what you did. Uh, Lars, thank you for your help, Steph. Norwegian, by the way. Oh, so do you first know me now you put the Svensk? Yeah. For that, uh, Norsk or Svensk are like, took you on. Ella Norsk, Svensk or Dansk. Men you tror att du förstår mig när jag pratar svenska med dig, Lars. I alla fall, jag hoppas att allt går bättre för dig. Och försöker att, försöker att äta mer, uh, fett, fett. Och have your gallbladder function properly, that's what I think. Okay, why would uh, you put your body through keto? Your body needs carb. Alexander, dude, stop. Like, when you got, like, Alexander, are you what you want my attention? Like, I haven't gotten these people all the time. Alexander, you don't know what you're talking about, bruh. What carbs are you eating in Europe, okay? What is Lash gonna eat in Norway? Oh, I'm sorry, you don't know. <laughs> See, triggered Stephanie is always hiding underneath. All right, Alexander, what do you eat in Norway in the winter and in the fall and half of the spring? That's a plant. Huh. Nothing, bruh. People need to learn more before they open their mouths up. It's embarrassing, bro. Stop. 
let me make sure I read this right. Why would you put your body through keto? Your body needs carbs. You're literally torturing your body. I'm not torturing my body. My body is funky, fresh, funny. This this body's funky, fresh, right? And torch my body. My body's happy. My 53 year old ass is happy. <laughs> Stephanie's still like, you guys are my my uploads. You guys, you guys are so Stephanie's so calm these days. Now she's always in there. My alter ego is always always here. No, it's not, honey, Alexander. You don't know what you're talking about. It's so funny. Like people like Alexander has have no information, and and of course, Alexander did not recognize my comment about Northern European and no plants growing. These were very heavy eat fish and meat eaters in the Nordic regions. I got turned up. See it? I it's just like people come to your channel and they're just so like you know, and his profile picture is just like black and people. Um, I'm not triggering her. She's she she feels triggered. No, I feel funky. I feel fresh, Alexander. I feel strong and I feel like I'm uh powerful within my words. I feel good, I feel right. Now I let people come to my channel and and try to give the stupidest advice in the world without any information and you're only writing because you want my attention. So you got it, Alexander. You got my attention. And now you don't. All right. You guys don't listen to a person like Alexander. People like Alexander come in. He can't do well. A lot of people, they can't, they don't do well on carbs and they don't want anybody else to do well. So they try to scare you. He said, torturing yourself. And then when I show my body, then it's like, is that torture? What I'm trying to do with you guys is learn how to do these diets right. Because we know that people have diverticulitis, they have Crohn's, they have hypoglycemia, they have all these things on carbs. So you lose no matter what. And what we've got to do is find the right N equals one experiment to all the individuals. And that's what these videos are all about. Um, if weight loss is hormones, right? It's not about eating fat or not eating fat. It's about how your hormones function. And that's what people have a hard time understanding. Oh, Janae, I, have, I, I, and, and I just haven't done a live in a long time. So every once in a while you get somebody coming into the chat. And I'm, I'm just feeling really hyper and funky fresh. So I'm not really bothered by Alexander. I'm just Alexandered turd. <laughs> Uh, is ginger okay? If you don't have a histamine response to it, and I wouldn't take it all the time. And uh, can uh, can you build a nice body with bad genetics? Uh, Hassan, I don't think anybody has bad genetics. I think that people don't know what to do with their genetics. You know, everybody's been born, like I wasn't breastfed, so that's bad genetics. Um, I have a propensity to have leaky gut and, and, um, that has been a problem my entire life because of not eating the right diet, doing a bit of damage to the body, definitely my teeth because of eating garbage food. You know what? Mona made a very good point and is very much in a much more mature way than I did. She said, Alexander, feel free to visit a different channel that aligns with your beliefs and let, let us get to the help that we want and need. And bye. Mona, I love you. That's like the best comment ever. I don't know, guys. It's just been a really weird, weird uh, year for all of us. I feel like we're just constantly lied to. Nobody knows the answer to anything anymore. And everybody's got an opinion. The only thing that I want you guys to do ultimately is do your own research and come up with your own, your own conclusion. But over here and what I'm preaching, I'm like, yeah, you can do these diets and they're freaking amazing. They're absolutely the most wonderful thing I've ever, ever experienced. And we need to go and tell my mother who survived a glioblastoma by putting her on a ketogenic diet that her life being alive was not torture either. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
because then I'm actually kind of having fun with it. That's what he gets, right? Look at what super thin guy wrote down. Uh, the thing I um let me see the thing I think you have to accept is that you get uh, what is accept is that after you get immune system disease, keto and drugs won't cure it, but you will certainly be less sick on keto. So Thomas, my mom survived a glioblastoma on keto. So using the word cure is very subjective. Now a lot of people have had a lot of symptoms being relieved, go away on keto. So we just gotta be careful. And that's a very big ass bold statement, which you can't make because everybody responds different. People have different levels of discipline, different levels of disease, different levels of everything, different levels of microbiome that need to be addressed in different ways. Um, how high do you think one's cholesterol level should get before there's an issue? Uh, no, I think that there it can go up to 20,000. I don't care. If you're worried about your heart, just check your CAC, your CAC, your calcium score, and check your blood pressure uh, or go use one of the three labs that te text the text test your very small LDL, small particles. Otherwise, the bigger the cholesterol number, the better, because if you've got big fluffy HDL and big fluff, fluffy and a lot of them, LDL, the lipoprotein in the, in the high density and low density. I got some energy. Esther, Fernandez, Golan, or Galan. Uh, glioblastoma. Wait, ooh, see. I typed, wait, I typed oncology reports from 20 years, and it was their rare, it was the rare patients that survived chemo, radiation, and surgery. What, through keto? Or I'm not really sure. Uh, glioblastoma is one of the most aggressive cancers there are. Shows how amazing keto is and keeping blood sugar low in the body. And yes! Yes, 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 yes! That's why I can't stand when people try to neg it. Like, learn more, contextualize. I get your statement. But let's put things in context and perspective. Cured my forever eczema with keto within a few months, never going back. Velocity. Is it? <laughs> uh, fire to top, oh, fire top man. Well, what do you think your blood pressure is usually at? Mine? Mine is perfect. The doctors check my blood pressure. They're like, oh, yeah, blood pressure is perfect. Because doctors are used to just testing blood pressure through patients all day long. And it's like, high blood pressure, high blood pressure. It's a high blood pressure. Um, you mean lymphoma? Lipoma? Lymphoma going down with uh, ketovore? Doctor said I just always have it. Nothing to do with keto, just saying that is not the way to go. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. Uh, are seeds like sprouted pumpkin chia flux? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, pumpkin is a little bit less. I think it's pumpkin and sunflower, but chia... And hemp, chia is really inflammatory, so no. Uh, the Greek guy fell off the wagon and he's eating a lot of crap. That's what the Greek guy is. We used to film in the studio and we can't film in that studio anymore. They actually lost the studio thanks to the Sharona or the draconian ridiculous measures of Sharona. Is cod liver uh, in okay to eat since I really have high omega-3, 6, 3? Yeah, yes. So I've heard my MS and neurologist is amazed on how well I'm doing on keto. More and more people are saying that they're doing amazing on keto. Um, you see, I'm doing it now. No new lesions on the brain and spinal cord. Like a lot of this, you, you guys are making me freaking get emotional. I love this. I love you guys. Wait, you guys look at this. 
Keto works. Look at that. I love it. Now, just get rid of the yogurt. Unless you're doing kefir and it's like, you know, it's raw kefir, grass fed, stay away from the yogurt. 500 milligrams. I forget how many 500 milligrams is, is in grams. So I can't tell you. I have to go Google it. Wait. Yeah, five 5,000 milligrams. How much does that make in a gram? It's five grams is what you should be taking, whatever that is. Thank you, Esther. BJ says I'm 65 and keto works for me. We love you too. Your advice helped me fix my low T thyroid after so many years. Yay! Uh, I just changed doctors. Very antiquated in thinking. Won't ever research keto. Right? Sing it. And I love liver too, William. All right. And thank you, DML. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, it's time for me to go off to the ranch. If you guys want to see me more today, go to my Instagram, which is Stephanie Ketogenics. So I can go give my horse a big damn hug for the day. I love that horse. You guys know I love that horse. Thank you, everyone. One of those things I'm not going to read. Um, you guys, go to my Instagram. I'm going to give Thunder a big hug and kiss on camera. That horse, I can't with him. There's something weird about that damn horse. He ain't like no other horses. His vet's like, this is the the most, the biggest character out of horse I've seen out of, uh, he goes, he goes, I'm in my 70s. I've do, been a vet for 40 years. And this horse has the most character and is the smartest horse I've ever seen. That horse is crazy smart. Esther says, thank you, Steph, and all the people uh, of this beautiful community. Exactly. We've got some beautiful people in this community. Uh, thanks, Steph. You and Sarah are the best. Thank you, Kuram. Kuram. Aga. 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 Ha. I'm butch butchering your name. I'm sorry. Uh, have a great day. Emma says, much love from Scotland. I love Scotland. Yo, Scotland and... Scotland is one of my favorite places on the planet. I need to go back, but they keep locked door up us down us. I, I like, I'm getting frustrated. Also, somebody said to me on my, my DM on my Facebook, did you say Sheree to Rona? All those people dying. I said, yes, yeah, stop. Stop. Just give each other some love. All right. I will. I'm going to get, I'm going to kiss. I'm going to kiss thunder. Yes, Ron. All right, guys. Thank you for everything. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. You guys know I've probably been on the internet the longest out of all these people talking about ketogenic, low carb, and now carnivore diets combined like 13 years all together. No, I've done it 13 years. Been on the internet for over 11 years, and it's been a it's been a it's been a journey watching things change over time. Somebody asked me if I'd heard about the sapien diet. I was like, oh, no, there's another stupid diet. I was like, no, just stick with keto. You're good. That's it. Sapien is like eating like vegetables and meat. And I'm like, no, we need high fat. So I just keep it keto. You finally vindicated, sing it. Yep. My name is Thunder. No. Thunder is my king. So sometimes I call them kingdom. The two das. So yeah. Yeah, you guys, you know, I've only had Thunder for seven months and I'm moving him to a ranch. And I live here in the middle of LA and it's homeless. It's homeless. They destroyed California. I mean, they destroyed it. I'm really sad. I was born here. I was born in LA. I'm watching it the titanic and i'm done i want to connect to nature and the only reason that that got in my head is because of thunder so thank you thunder all right guys have a fantastic day and for those on the replay I hope you're having a fantastic life 
I'm so grateful for you, Steph. I did my own health experiment to survive a glioblastoma. Oh my God, at 35. However, I've been following bad carnivore advice for the past two years. So I will still be contacting you soon. Yes, yes. There's a way you got it. When you're having a glio, you have to get that immune system to calm down. Right? Gruesome. I hope he pays. Okay? Because he destroyed this place. And they will continue until they have the complete takeover and power. And I'm not, I'm not sticking around for it. I'm leaving you guys. Can you speak two words? I'm waiting, ma'am. Sorry, I didn't get it. All right, guys. Thank you. All right? I knew it was serious. That was, y'all read this. I knew that that was his or her nephew. Like both of them are out of control, like out of control, like out of control. When I walk out my front door, you guys, it's been nuts here. The homelessness is real, like, whoa. But all right, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful day in life. My internet's acting glitchy, so it's time for me to go. And I got to go see Thunder right now. Thank you so much. And like I said, go to stephanieperson.com for consultations. If it's full booked, then ask to be on the waiting list through the contact page. I do a course, as you know. And also, uh, Carnivore Yogi, I forgot to mention, Carnivore Yogi is doing a keep cool, relax, chill, keep your stress down uh, course while doing these diets. Uh, a lot of you guys are dealing with stress or not aware of how that affects your immune system. And you can go to Carnivore Yogi's channel and you can go to her Instagram, which is Carnivore Yogi, and sign up for her channel. Chal <laughs> challenge. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah, I forgot to mention that in the beginning. Stupid me. All right. Bye, guys. And I'm out.